How do I get my Fortnite content to rank on YouTube? Find a trending topic and do a live stream. We are going back to season 1.0. Oh, it's pushing me away. It's pushing me away. No way. Yep, that's a lot of viewers. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. Hello, I'm Rob. Welcome back to VidIQ, educating you on your YouTube journey. And I have a question to kick this one off, as always. I assume you're a Fortnite player. If the answer is yes, have you ever tried doing a live stream on YouTube? Well, you might want to start doing it, and this is why. I think it's fair to say that Fortnite has been going through a downswing in recent months, and we'll come back to that later, but it is still one of the most popular games on YouTube to make videos about. And it helps that new items, secrets, and seasons are always being announced and released that keep the Fortnite topic fresh with new content on YouTube. And Fortnite Season 10 is being released today, the 1st of August 2019. Now, we have already talked about small YouTube channels trying to find their niche in this huge Fortnite area. And once again, I have a perfect example. There is something about Fortnite and boosting frames per second that YouTube viewers really get a kick out of. And this enterprising video creator with less than 500 subscribers stuck a video on YouTube a month ago and now it ranks top of the list with 50,000 views. Now there's probably a little bit of creative license with the title there, I mean how could you make this video when season 10 wasn't released a month ago? But it is getting positive engagement so the content must be providing value. Also, this second channel and video in the search rankings, we've come across this chap before. You might call him the YouTube authority on frames per second boost on Fortnite because he pivoted his entire channel to the Endeavor and has gained tens of thousands of subscribers and millions of views over the past 12 months from it. And how do we know all of this? Well, it's because we did a case study on the channel last year and you can watch it over here. Now, that was an example of evergreen content that's designed to be relevant and valuable to viewers for a while, say two or three months. But what I want to show you now are the extreme gains you can potentially get from trending content that may only have a shelf life of a couple of days. Now, I will confess I'm not a Fortnite player, so I don't know all of the jargon and terminology in the game. But when I did a search on YouTube for Fortnite, this particular video and its title caught my interest. First and foremost, it's a live stream and the title suggests something is happening right now in the Fortnite universe. Interesting, yes, but what is happening and what are people likely to be searching for? Season 10 or Season X I understand as a new release, but what's this Nexus Orb thing mean? That sounds like the most specific keyword phrase in a title, so I decided to find out what that was all about. Now, forgive me, I'm probably going to get this explanation a little wrong because I don't play Fortnite, but as far as I understand it, this orb is in integral to the launch of Season 10 of Fortnite. People have been seeing it on teaser videos in the last couple of days, it's exploding, it's giving you stuff, it's melting stuff, something along those lines. The bottom line is, for a very short window of time, probably around about 72 hours, everybody who's playing Fortnite wants to know what this orb is and what's going to happen and they want as much information as possible and they want it now. And that's why that search term has gone through the roof. Using vidIQ's own keyword inspector tool, we can click on keywords video creators are using and see how a term is trending over time. As you can see, Nexus Orb didn't even register as a term until a week ago, and now interest is spiking because of what's happening on Fortnite right now. And remember, I'm not a Fortnite gamer. I do not understand how that world works, but with a little keyword research intuition, I've been able to identify at least one keyword phrase that looks particularly juicy, and if I was a Fortnite gamer, I will be making a video on it right now. And you know what? When I have a second look at this title, there is another keyword of interest. Dusty Depot. To be honest, I'm not sure what it means because I'm a complete Fortnite noob, but what I do know through vidIQ is that this is another trending keyword phrase. So let's have a look at the keywords individually first. We've got Fortnite at the top as your topic. That's not going anywhere, it's been around for years. Now we've got something of relevancy today, Season 10, but a lot of other video creators are going to be using that. Then we're going to go really specific with those two keywords that have started to trend in the last week because potentially people didn't realise they were going to be trending more than a week ago. That's Nexus, Orb and Dusty Depot. And what happens when you start to put those keywords together? Well, that's when channels of all shapes and sizes can have viral moments. Take this search that combines Season 10 and Dusty Depot. It may be some way down the search results, but this channel with its 250 subscribers has had its own viral moment from a video with 3,000 views. Now, of course, in the grand scheme of the Fortnite universe, 3,000 views on a video is not a big deal. 
but it is for the channel itself. If you are a gaming channel that's trying to find its way on YouTube and you create a video that does 100 times better than your previous video, that's a signal to create more content on the subject, which the video creator has done. And hey, it may only be 200 views, but for a channel with 250 subscribers, that's still pretty good. Now if Dusty Depot, and who thought I would ever say Dusty Depot in a YouTube video, if Dusty Depot is an interesting keyword, then Nexus Orb is a fascinating keyword. First of all, the average age of videos appearing at the top of the YouTube search results is just nine days. This is extremely rare and it means two things. Not only is the search term very hot, but it also means that YouTube is recycling content frequently because there is a lot of fresh stuff coming onto the platform. Now I have a question for you. What do a lot of these videos have in common as I scroll through these search results? Have you spotted it yet? Yep, I noticed that too. A significant number of these videos are actually live streams. And when I tweaked the search term to Nexus Orb event, every single video in these search results was a live stream. Yeah, this isn't a trick. I've not filtered by live stream only videos. And I'm not sure I've ever seen this before. What all of this tells me from a YouTube perspective is that this Nexus Orb event was so important to Fortnite gamers that Fortnite video creators wanted to stream the event live to capture as many people as possible as they were searching for this new release. And when you do a live stream, YouTube favours that in a search term. So while you're currently live, you will find yourself higher up in these search terms. And we've actually discovered this with our own content. Every Tuesday at 11 a.m. PDT for around about an hour, we do a live stream channel audit. You're welcome to join us next time we're on. And every time we have that live stream running for the hour, we rank much higher in the search term, how to get more views, because that's part of the title of our live streams. If you don't believe me, next Tuesday, 11 a.m., search for how to get more views, and you should find us near the top of the search rankings. Now, in all fairness, there's never going to be a surge of interest for the search term, how to get more views. But when there is a trending event that has a very small window of opportunity, 24, 48 hours, perhaps even less, it might be more advisable to do a live stream to capture that event and then you could take the best bits of that live stream and create a smaller dedicated specific video a couple of hours later. Now let's step back for a second. Why am I advising you to go after trending topics and potentially do that through live streams? Well remember, Fortnite is a huge gaming topic on YouTube with channels that have tens of millions of subscribers and you've got to find your own little edge to compete against them. All of which brings me back to the video that first caught my attention. At nearly 200,000 subscribers, by no means is this a small channel, but it's not a huge one either in the Fortnite grand scheme of things. But by creating a super keyword rich video and making it into a live stream, this channel finds itself at the top of these search rankings. And because it's at the top of trending search rankings, there are thousands of people watching it, which is pretty incredible for a channel of this size. Now on closer inspection, something isn't quite right about this stream. This live stream started on July the 30th, which feels a little early for this event. And when I watched the video for a little longer, I discovered that the video creator has actually recorded maybe 50 to 20 minutes of gameplay and then looped it over and over again and put it in a live stream. So yeah, that channel is being a little cheeky and gaming the system. So let's find a legitimate live streamer on the topic of Nexus Orb right now. This is a channel of interest. It has 20,000 subscribers, so it's an even smaller channel and it has 100 people watching it, which isn't too shabby for its size. And when I click on the video, there does look to be a human being playing the game and reacting to the live audience. Mystic, mystic five times bro, what is good man? So yeah, if you are gonna go after a trending topic and do it as a live stream, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons and you're giving your audience something of value. Now we have used Fortnite as the example here, but you could apply this to any topic on YouTube. For example, the announcement of a new piece of technology such as the next iPhone, a reaction to the latest movie trailer release, or indeed a wrestling event. We always get reactions to the latest pay-per-view such as SummerSlam. Can you tell I'm a wrestling addict? 
Yeah, you can smell what I'm cooking. I think ultimately the question you need to ask yourself is this. Do I need to know this information as soon as it's available? Do I crave it? Do I need to find out before anyone else? If the answer is yes, then there's probably thousands if not millions of people who feel exactly the same way and that's where a live stream might be advantageous to your content. And here's a fun little fact to finish off this video. As we said at the beginning, Fortnite's popularity has been in decline throughout 2019 and was recently overtaken in YouTube search volume by Minecraft. And there's pretty much one person responsible for that. It's PewDiePie, and we've done a video all about it if you're interested. But with the Fortnite World Cup that just took place last weekend and all of this Season 10 craziness that's just kicked off, Fortnite has edged ahead once again. If you need help researching Minecraft or Fortnite, analysing any video on a YouTube platform, auditing your own channel and receiving actual steps that will help grow your channel, then download vidIQ. You've seen some of the tools in this video, it is free to download, there is a link in the video description. As for my own gaming preferences, where you can forget your Fortnites, forget your Minecrafts, I'm having myself a bit of this type of action. And if you can name that game in the comments below, the first person to do that will get three months worth of vidIQ boost for absolutely free. Enjoy the rest of your video making day.